Hey everyone, Mike Jarecki here in Flagstaff. Cardinals will have two workouts today, one this morning at 9 a.m. and this afternoon at 3 o'clock. Now yesterday, Kevin Cobb got a chance to run with the first string offense, and I anticipate this afternoon, John Skelton will get a chance to do the same. Curious to see how the coaching staff will handle the next few weeks. Everything is charted, everything is on film. Will they base what goes on in practice? or will they simply look at what happens in the preseason? So I don't think we're going to know for the next few weeks, and I do anticipate Cobb will get the start against the Saints, and I do anticipate that John Skelton will get the start the following week in Kansas City against the Chiefs. So we'll see how this plays out, but I'm curious to see how they're going to judge these guys on a day-to-day -day basis. At some point, you're going to have to make a decision, and you're going to have to ride with that guy. So we're going to find out in the next few weeks who the Cardinals' starting quarterback will be. One other note, Dan Williams, former first-round pick, told me yesterday he came in at 314 pounds. Folks, he was 335 last year. That's a big difference. Obviously, that's going to allow him to extend his playing time in the fourth quarter, and the Cardinals need to get something from that position at nose tackle where you become a wide body, a space eater, and allows your, some of your other guys coming off the edge to put pressure on the quarterback. He'll be pushed by David Carter, the former uh, late-round pick last year from UCLA, and then also Nick Eason. So that position looks like it's created some depth. But the good news is Dan Williams came into camp uh, in shape, looks a lot better, wasn't huffing and puffing like he was a year ago. That's going to do it here on Thursday here in Flagstaff. I'm Mike Jarecki, Extra Sports, 910.